In a bid to curtail the menace of drug peddling, the Pharmacy Council has advised pharmaceutical wholesalers in the country to avoid selling their products to unlicensed medicine retailers and peddlers. According to the Council, drug and van peddling have become a major healthcare challenge due to the difficulty in tracing the sources of some of the drugs and medications sold by these unlicensed individuals are not captured by their data. The council also urged wholesalers to block all leakages in the operations, which makes it easier for some of the workers to illegally sell to the peddlers. City News engagement with some wholesalers of pharmaceutical products who spoke on condition of anonymity at the Central Business District in Accra say sensitizing market women who are usually the customers of drug peddlers can curtail the menace. Not selling to them is not a problem, but no matter what the situation will be, they will still do it. So, I, I, in my view, it's just a matter of educating them. And if there is a way out, they can sell without a, letting the efficacy of the medicine come down. They should educate them so that they, they continue doing what they are doing. Because for me, there's no way that this thing can stop. It's just a matter of putting heads together. All the shareholders in the pharmaceutical business, they should put their heads together and then they draw a plan or something. They may, be, they may have something that they can do. For me, I can't sit here and say, do this, do this, but it's just a matter of letting all the shareholders come together. It's a, a matter that has come up, so we are all in a situation of putting heads together and then solve the problem. To say near, to say Abba Pharmacy Council for a advice wholesalers to say Emma Obia and Tony Emma Emma Pedless. Me patcho wo wholesaling anye o kan shipe e na omo ye wholesaling. For instance, say o kan shipe for wholesalers ka say omo nton de Emma Pedless a obi ene ni abre anye nkan pe no beta di ene wholesaling. Our region, yeah, then they never went to Makwa Hako Tadi. But to me, my dear, me, Nimse Babuana said, Yeah, mommy, I will jump. Young man, I will jump, you will find them, and I did. I want a message, say, Yama education, and come more. Final consumer, yeah, educating, he said, So who pay a draw at a drug store, and I say, pharmacy shop, a child who is here, baby, I will be open your be. So I am on rest home. I cut up baby. I want us all cut up. I say, or how be crap bar? And they would name baby. I will cut up at the end. Thomas Tabau, as an unlicensed medicine retailer, he shared a story with City News, and he pleaded with relevant authorities to aid in the acquisition of a license. So we are when we are going to buy medicine, we check the expiring date, and we know how dosage we have to give the person based on the person's condition. Okay. So. How, how 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 do you are you able to determine the dosages? Because we there is a when you something like Gibidor for instance, there is a, a small booklet on it. So when we buy it and we don't know the dosage, we will take it the booklet, then we read through. So when we read through, we see the dosage and the rates. Then when the person's condition also tell us the the, the number of medicine the person have to take a day. Uh -huh. So even it teach us to. When it is overdose, how the person will feel. So we, know, we normally give the person to concerning the ages of the person too is also concerned. Uh, how long does it take you to uh, learn the dosages? Oh, me, for instance, I am having my phone. So when the, let me say, I get a strange medicine, which I don't know the dosage. When I read the booklet and I do not understand, I use my phone and Google. I can sit and learn because when people are not with me, I use my leisure stand to learn the dosage of those medicines. And I learn side effect too. So it means that all these uh, drugs that you have packed, all these medicines that you have packed in, the, uh, in this uh, polythene, um, you know all the dosages, right? Oh, yes, oh, yes, I know. So, assuming I have, uh, you know, I have stomach pains what are the likely products that i'm supposed to take uh, for the stomach pain uh, that one i need to ask you how does it do you how does it start 
someone might be maybe saying that maybe when he's walking around the thing is biting him it might easy like a stomach bite he'll be walking the thing with pain in. so then what I, will, I first ask you whether did you deworm yourself worms too can do that so i'll ask you how many months did you do when how did you do when yourself if you say no i'll first give you the worm so that you do worm yourself so when you do them and then it doesn't work i can give you number 10 liver sorts that you take some market to men explained there are reasons for purchasing medicine from illegal peddlers rather than going to the pharmacy but when you are in TSA, you catch your monster, or Munjae. But your Matipa, I didn't mean to drink so it's serious, or Munjan. Grace, you are, I said. I'm there with Drummy Drew, so I said. You made Drummy Drew. Mom said, You debian me tea, and then I am Tibian Tia Mia. Much of my means to me, so I may meet me, and my from. No matter to be or Munjay. Meanwhile, the head of enforcement and intelligence gathering at Pharmacy Council, William Rootman, outlined plans that are underway to curtail the menace of drug peddling. We have a three-pronged approach. One is to engage the wholesalers. That's the first one. You know, to engage them to talk to them about the issues involved. The second one is to team up with the police to arrest these peddlers and prosecute them because the law that with, with, with which we operate clearly frowns on it. The third one, of course, to organize some sensitization for, for the traders or for people who patronize some of these uh, uh, or who buy some of these medicines. So it's a process. We have we've gone through the first stage. As I, I wouldn't want to talk too much, maybe, but we are, we are, we are meeting with the police to, to assist us to arrest the peddlers. If we arrest them, we will dig down to wherever they get these medicines from.